It is a diagnostically a real challenge. The uh, most oncologists, many clinicians, general practitioners are familiar with people with tumors in the liver detected radiographically. And uh, the correct assumption is that that's a metastasis most of the time, uh, except when it isn't. And it can be hard to figure out, uh, to um, essentially rule out uh, carcinoma from another source in the body that has traveled to the liver versus what can be a diagnosis of exclusion when you exclude all these other places it could have come from and have to surmise the origin is in the, um, in the uh, biliary system. So that's um, increasingly done by sophisticated pathologists, uh, pathology approaches. The problem is uh, cells are quite infrequent. We, we have a hard time getting them. There is uh, not the equivalent of a colonoscope or a, a mammographic, uh, a, a, an, an ultrasound guided biopsy for for the liver. And so pathologists are challenged with very few cells, how to diagnose the disease efficiently and leaving uh, so, uh, adequate tissue for other analyses for like FGFR2 like we just talked about is a real uh, rationing strategy. We want to be efficient, accurate, and also save some for later.